again and welcome. I feel very honoured that I've been asked to um, contribute, for want of a better word, to this uh, 10 question video that um, is being asked of various woodturners and I was very kindly nominated by Stephen from the 8x6 workshop and I'll put a link to Stephen's channel in the description below. Um, and I always get a little bit tongue-tied, believe it or not, uh, with things like this because my mind tends to, my wife always says to me that you can never say what can be said in one sentence. You've, you've got to write a chapter, you've, got to, you've almost got to say a chapter um, and that's the way unfortunately that I am and I sometimes bore myself with um, things I say because I go on too long. Praising is not my forte, so I'll warn you now. Um, I won't say anything more, very difficult. We'll go into the questions, and um, I hope you find it of interest. <laughs> Question one. When did you start wood turning, and why? Well, I started wood turning back in uh, November 2011. Why did I start wood turning? Um, I, I wanted to turn a chair leg and it was a project I was doing. I've always been interested in, in, in do-it-yourself with wood, not cabinet making, I hasten to add. Um, what we tend to call over here a bit jerry-built, but I love working with wood, always have done. And um, so went online, looked looked at YouTube, put in turn in a chair leg, and of course I was I was met with this absolute plethora of, of videos, um, all to do with turning. So I finally got to one that turned the chair leg, and, and I thought, well, yeah, I could. Mm, yeah. And it really, really intrigued me. So I went to Axminster, the only reason I went to Axminster was the first tool place that came up, it meant nothing to me whatsoever and didn't really want to invest heavily because obviously didn't know if I was going to take it any further apart from doing this chair leg. So I considered getting a drill powered lathe um, and I think Axman's had a, had a deal on. Anyway, cut long story short, which is rare for me, I ended up getting the AWV SL1000 uh, with a chuck and a set of turning tools and um, a grinder because I did a lot of research on it. Once I decided I was going to take the plunge, I, I spent hours and hours and hours researching um, what it was all about. And I thought, okay, and I, th I think for about 350 quid, something in the, of that ilk, um, I had the stuff delivered. And that was basically how I got into wood turning in the beginning. How did you get started? Well again, some of these questions will meld into the other one, but I, I got started because of my um, initial desire to turn a chair leg. Um, I got started, as I say, with um, the acquisition of uh, the AWV SL1000 from Axminster, um, a set of tools, a grinder, and a chuck. Fortunate, uh, fortunately, I had a friend that uh, has a wood yard, mainly deals with oak um, and ash. So I went down there, got a few bits of his offcuts, and I was very, very uh, fortunate in the beginning to, to get quite a few really dry 15, 20 year old oak burl offcuts, as he called them, rubbish. You, you know, he, he burned them. So I came back with a car laden and um, started trying to work on this ash and this uh, and these oak burls. And of course, the first thing I did was a goblet. Funny enough, <laughs> didn't look like a goblet, but I was happy with it, and I was hooked. And I just spent hours and hours and hours trolling um, YouTube, watching videos from Carl Jacobson, Captain Eddie, John Lucas, Lyle Jamieson. So many people at that time um, inspired me to, to take it further. Um, and that's it, you never, you never stop learning, never stop loving it, in my opinion. That's really nothing to do with the question, but I said it anyway. 
Question three, what tools do you use the most? <clears throat> I thought long and hard about this actually, and I suppose in, in sort of hours of use, um, I use my spindle gouges more than any other tool. I love turning bowls, um, but I actually do a lot more spindle work than I do bowl work. And um, my favorite gouge out of the spindle gouges has to be the half inch or the 10 millimeter spindle gouge. I just love using that for some reason. It's my go-to gouge. If I can get into a little crevice with that, then I will. I won't use the 3 eighths. Um, but having said all that, I love all my tools. Um, I'm a bit of a tool junkie and I do, I've, I've now got to a stage where I, if I want some tool that is not really necessary, I will look at the tools that I don't use, I haven't used for a while, and I'll put them in a drawer and I'll put a date on them. And when I go back, if I haven't used them, I put them on eBay and I sell them. And then I can get something that I want. <laughs> That's the way I do it. Um, I love I love using the and this is not a plug. I love using the uh, the Simon Hope Halloween jig. I love Halloween. Um, I've just got into carbide. Really, I'm not really a great carbide person because I just like using traditional tools. It gives me su such satisfaction using traditional tools. Uh, but there is definitely a place for carbide. There's no two ways about that. Um, you must excuse the odd noises. It's very windy out here today, and we've got trees scraping the roof and goblins what else so I apologize for that so yeah in answer to the question you see I do go on and waffle in answer to the question um, my favorite tool is has to be the um, half inch spindle gauge question four what finish do you prefer um, I think various projects um, lend themselves to various finishes but my, my favourite finish from day one for some reason has been a wax finish. Um, I just love that uh, you, you can get a nice gloss, deep, uh, a deep warmth to a wax finish uh, but of course certain certain pieces don't lend themselves to wax finishes especially burls if you've got a, a lot of inclusions and so on it gets you can use it but it, it you, you spend a lot of time getting the wax out of the crevices and everything else so you know, an oil finish is, is better, in my opinion, for, for those sort of turnings. But in general, um, my, my go-to finish is a wax finish after applying a sanding sealer. Um, I've tried CA finishes on pens, obviously, and a few smaller uh, spindle pieces. I'm not a great one for the, the mirror finish. I, I like the wood to, to, to look like wood. But I'm not taking anything away from the guys that do stupendous jobs with CA finishes and other finishes and make it look like glass. I'm not taking anything away from their abilities and, and their talent there. It's just a personal opinion. I prefer a, a lower luster or even sometimes a high gloss, but it, a wax. It just gives that depth of shine that, that I personally like. Question five. What would you like to achieve this year? Lots of things. Uh, wood turning related, I suppose, again I've given it some thought before I sat down to do the video. Uh, there are two things I'd like to achieve this year. Number one is a uh, completed demonstration at UKIS in July um, without the top flying off. And the second achievement, I would like to feel more comfortable with the skew in certain instances. Um, Steve Jones, who most of you will know, um, is a terrific inspiration, the skew master, without a shadow of a doubt. And the guy's been using the skew chisel for 30 plus years in his profession as a production turner. Um, I have no doubt that there is no way on God's earth that I'm going to become as proficient as Steve. But the tool itself is so flexible and it's a joy to use when it works for you. And the only way you've got to get it to work for you is practice, 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 as I always say. So those are my, those are my two ambitions, if you like. To succeed at, a, at a, um, a demonstration and completing a project without it flying off or breaking on the lathe at UKIS and becoming more comfortable with the skewers. Um Question six, what part of turning do you enjoy the most? Um, all of it. Everything. 
wet turning, roughing out, even turning down to round, uh, spindle work, bowl work, um, boxes, goblets obviously. Uh, there's not an aspect I don't think of wood turning um, that I don't enjoy. I mean, I you know I enjoy cutting the logs up with a chainsaw, putting it on van saw, getting bolt blanks and spindle blanks, preparing the wood, um, wet turning, drying it, the excitement of seeing whether it's cracked or not. There is no aspect of of wood turning that I don't like, apart from, and I think you all know what I'm going to say, segmenting. I have not got the patience um, for segmenting at all. I have a terrific amount of respect um, and admiration for some of the fantastic segmenters out there. Uh, and, and the stuff they produce is phenomenal. There, there's no doubt about that at all. But it's just something that's not for me. Um, I enjoy watching other people produce what they produce with segmenting. Um, I've, I've done a bit, I even, you know, I went, I made a sled, a segmenting sled, and it just didn't interest me. Um, and that's it, I'm afraid. Question seven, what is the favorite piece you have turned? Um, I haven't got a single, a singular favorite piece. Um, if I try something new, either with, with a new tool or a different technique or something, and I'm happy with what I've done that for that particular period of time, becomes my favourite piece. If I had to make a choice, um, I, I would think my favourite piece would be my staved goblet. Not so much because of the form, but because, yes, I know it's a form of segmenting, um, it was just such a joy to turn to see, having not done it before, having see the see the patterns emerge as you're turning down um, that piece. Yes, I think that gave me the most satisfaction. One other as well, <coughs> um, a video of long ago, um, an oak bowl, natural edge oak bowl, uh, bowl uh, from a really strange, oddly shaped piece of wood that I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I stuck it on the lathe, put the camera on, and this acceptable bowl turned out and I've still got that obviously I say obviously I was, nobody wants it I've still, <laughs> still got that on in in the case uh, in the house so yes I think those two things the staved goblet and the oak bowl natural edge bowl uh, number eight to color or not to color well there's a can of worms again sitting on the fence as I've been accused of doing on many occasions but it is the way I feel I think um, there's a place for colour um, I personally prefer as most people do even the guys that are fantastic at colouring you can't beat mother nature and I don't think any colouring artist um, people like Gary Lowe, people like Martin Saban Smith um, Jimmy Clues and to name just but a few. They, they produce fantastic work, stunning work, but they still like natural beauty as well. So, um, I think on balance I prefer natural, providing you've got good figure and, and so on in the wood. Um, I, I, I've got a, a spray gun, etc. I've got all the kit, I haven't used it properly yet. I do a little, I've done a little bit of colour, yes it's good, it's good fun, but if I've got a nice piece of wood, I just want it unadulterated, I want it natural. So, I haven't really answered the question, but that's my opinion on it. Why did, it, why did you start a YouTube channel? Again, I think, um, certainly didn't do it for the money. <laughs> um, I, th I think most people start off a YouTube channel to give something back to YouTube because I certainly have been YouTube taught from day one. Um, I've never had a lesson and it shows on quite a few occasions. Uh, basically, um, I've learned everything off YouTube and, you know, I've been known at 11 o'clock at night to see something and just say to my wife before she goes to bed, I'll just pop it into the carriage a minute um, uh, and I'll try something out. And, YouTube has been an, an, an immense source of inspiration to me, uh, and still is, and still is. And um, I just wanted to give something back, and I didn't expect it to sort of um, snowball into what it's turned out to be today, for which I'm, A, number one, very grateful, and, and 
be extremely humbled. I really am. Um, I just can't believe that so many people want to watch me make a fool of myself, I suppose. But, um, yeah, and it's developed, again, not answering the question specifically, but it's developed into a, a situation where the, this is one, one question which maybe should be added in there. What gives you the most joy um, from wood turning? Um, the, the greatest joy I get from wood turning is actually seeing people that I and others have inspired by our videos um, coming on to, in leaps and bounds and seeing their unknown talent that they didn't know they had come to fruition and, and turn into really, really superb turners. That That is worth, it's priceless, it really is. Um, that doesn't answer that question properly either, does it? But there you go, that's me. And finally, question 10, what other hobbies do you enjoy? <sighs> I don't have time for any other hobbies really. I mean, I enjoy photography. I used to, used to really enjoy my photography. I enjoy building uh, computers, PCs, as a hobby. Um, not the software and writing software, but actually building rigs. Um, we have a fairly large garden. I enjoy gardening, cutting the grass, etc. Um, and general D DIY, uh, which does take second place now, unfortunately, because of my wood turning. Um, I still work full time, or well, four days a week, long hours, so I have three days a week off, uh, especially in the summer. A um, couple of days turning and a, and a day with household stuff and spending time with my wife. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I used to play a lot of golf as well, and golf was knocked on the head uh, because of wood turning. So I didn't have time for both. So that basically sums me up. Not very interesting, but um, an honest answer to the question and a bit of waffling, which is it's synonymous with me anyway. Um, and I hope you found it of some interest. I'd like to nominate um, Martin Saban Smith. There were a couple of other guys that I wanted to nominate, but um, they've already been nominated. So I'll stick with Mr. Saban Smith and over to you for your 10 questions. I'll put the relevant links down below in the description and again thanks very much for watching, I hope I didn't bore you too much uh, and I'll see you very soon with a turning video. Cheers now.